welcome back to the channel and today I want to build a flying vehicle powered solely by recoil from guns like these and if you're wondering if the recoil is really going to be enough to make a vehicle fly let me remind you how strong the recoil actually is here I don't think we're gonna have a problem getting into the air. The problem is gonna be making it actually controllable. So a recent update to this game introduced the X8 rifle, which you just saw a hundred of them being used at the same time, and the Gauss gun, which uh, is basically an explosive ammo version of that that has a little bit more power on impact. But I think for our purposes, the X8 rifle is going to be a better option because it has a higher rate of fire. And the higher our rate of fire is, the more control we're going to have over our altitude in response to, our, to the recoil because there's going to be less downtime in between each uh, recoil burst. So I've never built a flying vehicle in this really. I have built vehicles that hover using like the, uh, the balloons and things like that. But I'm hoping to be able to actually fly this thing around and have good control over the altitude. So I'm gonna take inspiration from some of the other flying vehicles I've seen I've seen on the workshop and use the collective pitch method where I'm actually going to aim the rifles up and down to control how much force the recoil is going to transfer to the actual vehicle itself. So I think I'm gonna do a quadcopter style. Right now I'm just mapping out the dimensions of it. So I'm going to use a free swivel and these are going to allow the guns to rotate around in circles, which really isn't going to add anything other than aesthetic. It's going to look cool. It's going to be like propeller guns, gun powered propellers. Um, so now I can delete all of this and then uh, streamline it down using flex beam just like that. And then I'll do the same thing up in the front. All right, so now with the free swivel here, I can basically build off of this to attach the guns. And with the power of these guns, I'm honestly thinking maybe four is going to be enough, but I'll actually add a little bit more. All right, so I've just started prototyping the propeller design. So I've got these power swivels right here that are leaving, that are leading into overdriven uh, X8 rifles. So when they fire, you can see they'll cause these to spin, which is just, that's just the aesthetic coolness of it but what i can do is use shift and control to angle these cannons up and down which changes the direction of the force from being purely sideways to then aiming down which is oh that's going to be a problem i'm going to have to actually get this out of the way but then i can control how much of the force is being directed downwards and how much isn't and yeah that should allow me to control my altitude up and down so then at maximum strength oh my goodness yeah, that, this is gonna be a loud creation. This is gonna be a very loud creation for sure. All right, I think I've got the back propellers all finished. Uh-oh. Why are these not? Okay, there we go. Now it's starting to lift up. All right, I was a little bit concerned there why it wasn't lifting us up. I would expect it to have a little bit more power than I was seeing there. All right, but I'm going to have to modify these out of the way a little bit. All right, there we go. That shape should allow for some more room for these X8 rifles. All right, now I just have to replicate what I did back there up here. Oh, no. Oh, what did I do? Oh, that's not good. I think I may have pushed the game a little bit farther than it was meant to be pushed. Uh, oh. Oh, no, it's fine. Everything's fixed. All right, well, that's strange. Literally, just this one over here is the wrong control. Okay. Uh, okay, I don't know what happens. Sometimes it freaks out. Sometimes it, it doesn't. But let me... Let me see if every, everything seems to be working in working order. Ooh, I gotta get rid of this weight in the back. I gotta make it more uh, symmetrical. I just put this there for stability purposes. But now I think it's stable on its own. Oh, come on, please don't freak out. No, 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 you're safe. You're safe, you're safe, no! There we go, see, I just gotta preempt it. If I, hit, if I don't hit the ground, I'm fine. All right, it's a little loud. It's just a little, it's just a little loud. 
<laughs> All right, we do have takeoff though. Now I just need, I need the rest of the controls. 550 kilograms. Standard cab is 550 kilograms. I guess I'll add 600 kilograms to the back then to even it out. Oh yeah, look at that. A lot more even. All right, this is cool. All right, we, we're getting somewhere. So now I wanna give myself the ability to control. How am I gonna do this? I'm looking at the keyboard trying to figure out the controls because unfortunately for these guns, I can't toggle them. So in order to fire them, I have to hold down the input to keep them continuously firing. So that has to be a control, which I have set to space right now. I'm controlling up and down with shift and control. Then if I control pitch forward and back and left and right, that's presumably gonna be WASD. But then how do I just go straight forward? What, like, what is that button gonna be? All right, let's just focus on one thing at a time. I'm gonna do the pitch and roll first, then we'll worry about actual traveling forward and back. So in the current state of this game, uh, there's relatively limited programming abilities. There's no like logic systems or anything like that. So ideally I would have just programmed the roll and the pitch into these propellers themselves by changing the amount of force that's gonna come out of each one depending on what I wanna do. But instead I'm gonna have to use separately controlled systems to do this. Okay, so for pitch forward and pitch back, I've got a set of rifles in the very front and the very back uh, facing up and down. So in order to pitch forward, I want these back ones to be assigned to W and the pitch back, these forward ones are assigned to S. So now I should have control. Oh no, I forgot not to let myself hit the ground like that, but I should have control over, um, uh, over pitching. So there we go. Oh, okay. Uh, it's so loud. I can't even hear myself think. But uh, what I'm noticing with this is since the rifles are only facing in the down direction, um, they actually add to my altitude, which isn't good. I need them to cancel each other out, actually. All right, I think I've done it. You can see I've doubled them up. So now there's ones facing down and ones facing up. So now when I press W to tilt forward, these ones that are now shooting up into the sky will fire at the same time as these ones that are aiming down at the ground in the back. And that should hopefully cancel out any force that will affect our altitude, keeping us nice and steady. All right, let's see how it feels. All right, tilt back, tilt forward. There we go. That's not bad. It's working great so far. Now I just need the ability to roll and then the ability to go. All right, so the roll mechanic, I'm gonna put uh, right in the center of our, of our craft, but extend it out to the sides because the further away we are from the center, the more leverage that these uh, rifles are going to have. So I'm basically going to be duplicating this structure right here, but uh, doing it perpendicular over here. All right, so now if I want to press D to tilt to the right, I want the cannons on the right that are facing up to fire. So that's going to be triggered by D. That's going to be triggered by D. Then these ones are going to be triggered by A to tilt us to the left. And then we do the opposite over on this side. The ones facing up are going to be triggered by A. And the ones facing down are gonna be triggered by D. So now I'm pretty sure we have pitch and roll programmed into this thing. Let's see how it feels. All right, there's our roll. Roll left, roll right. You know what, let me uh, even out my altitude a little bit by changing the pitch. Oh boy, too much, too much. All right, more, 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 more. There we go. I'm trying to get like equal, equalize my buoyancy here. All right, that, that's looking pretty good. All right, so now pitch back. There we go, pitch forward. There we go, pitch or roll to the left and roll to the right. The rolling and pitching isn't that strong, unfortunately, but uh, we're working with what we got. This is just a wall of noise in my ears right now. <laughs> All right, and we can come in for a soft landing just like that. Oh, oh, I can hear again. I mean, I could hear the whole time, but that was kind of the problem. I didn't want to be hearing all that. Okay, so now I want to just be able to go, I mean, I guess I could kind of go forward by pitching forward like a helicopter, right? Let's, let's test that out. There we go. I mean, that does work. Oh, yeah. 
that's not exactly i should probably shouldn't be doing that though all right this is really not what i should be focusing on right now but i'm giving this thing ghost guns <laughs> i'm gonna use these for actual like firing upon the buildings and stuff so let's have some fun with that real quick oh no am i too heavy now no way did i just make myself too heavy by doing that Oh no, there we go. Now it works for some reason. All right, so I can fire them like that. Oh yeah. They're a little bit, um, oh boy, they make me tilt forward too. There we are, look at that. You can't even see them firing. Oh, wait a minute. I think some of their bullets are getting eaten. This is, it's so chaotic. It's so hard to see what's going on here, but there we go. You can see them firing. And then if I fire these. Look at they stop. Some of them don't make it anymore. They keep getting blocked for some reason. Pro oh, there we go. Okay, so my problem is that these propellers are so heavy that my center of mass is actually way high. So if I want, you know, I could actually lower all of these propellers maybe. I just gotta make sure I do the identical thing on the front and the back. So I'm gonna go down by one and a half and then forward by one and that's it all right so down by one and a half and then backwards by one and then i can use my flex beams to reattach right onto the ends here okay something happened and i can no longer fly like i didn't really i'm not that much heavier than i used to be but it's like the strength of these got changed or something Okay, so apparently by clicking the reinforce button on these swivels, it actually added a, a lot of weight to me. As you can see, it got, whoa. Wait, that was weird. I swear I just saw that number change twice. I thought it was like 155 and then I clicked reinforce and it went up to 170 and then I unclicked it and now it's 166. That doesn't make any sense. But anyway, reinforcing these things uh, apparently adds a lot of weight which was the issue. Okay, so now I'm trying to add actual weaponry to this thing so I can feel like I'm actually intimidating in the air. So let's see if this thing can uh, lift itself up still with these weapons added. Oh no. Man, the weapon, they add so much weight and I'm right at my limit. Is there any way I can reduce weight? All right, so I'm at 168.2, which is weird because I was flying at 173 earlier. So now if I get rid of that and replace it with this, I'm at 168.025, so that is reducing some weight. So I am gonna go ahead and just, just do that. Just try to cut down weight wherever possible. When in doubt, replace everything with flex beams. All right, so I've reduced it from 168 down to 162. So now we should definitely... What? Why does everything seem weaker? I am very confused. This physics makes no sense. Okay, now I can fly. I just, I didn't do anything. Wait. Yeah, what? I didn't do anything different. I, I, I promise. I, oh. Oh, that sounds so beefy. But then it's, look at that. They stop working. They actually stop working after I, when I fire everything else. When it's just them, it works fine, kind of. I think I am like, I, I think I'm just spawning in too many projectiles for the game to handle. I guess that's what happens when you have a uh, projectile powered quadcopter with projectile weapons as well. Oh, I just realized I don't have yaw either. I gotta put yaw into this thing. Oh no, that means so much more weight's gonna be added, but it has to happen. It really, it really does have to happen. Okay, is that going to interfere with these? All right, doesn't appear so, but this is going to be a lot more weight added. So this is going to make us turn yaw to the left with Q. And the opposite side is going to make us yaw to the right with E. And then we just do the reverse in the back here. All right, can we still go? Oh, no. No, how much do we weigh now? We weigh 165. We should still be able to lift up. Oh, there we go. All right, there's just some strange inconsistencies there. So now yaw. Come on, you can do it. It's so slow, but it's doing it. All right, and then go to the right. All right, there we go. I, now I don't have any key. Oh, wait, no, there we go. I, I put F was on fire. F for fire. 
Come on. There we go. We're doing some damage. We're doing some damage. Okay, get a control. Get control of yourself. Get control of yourself. I'm doing it. I've got control of myself. We're coming back. Why is there debris around me? Am I like lifting debris up or something? All right, come on. Come on. I'm trying to fire at the building, but my bullets aren't registering. All right, you know what I need to do? I need to stop my thrusters. Ah, we fall so fast. Oh, gravity. Why are you like this? Okay, okay, get up out of the water. There we go. All right, come on, I'm trying to shoot this building. Do some damage. Like one bullet gets through every couple of seconds. All right, let's try to turn around now. There we go, I'm yawing to the right. You can see the bullets firing that are helping me yaw right now. <laughs> you can't see anything going on, but it's working. There we go. All right, you know what's probably, oh boy, that's not the way I was supposed to be facing. Uh... You know what's probably gonna be a more effective destructive method is using my actual propellers. I just have to fly over the building and I will be raining down destruction. So let's try that method here. All right, here we go. Oh boy. Well, we broke most of the glass so far. Man, now I have so much power, so much more altitude. Oh, stop, 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 too much. It's so inconsistent how strong the propellers are. Oh, here we go. Here we go, yes. Now we're raining down destruction. Ah, oh, this is cool. Yes. See, the more I aim down though, then the higher I end up going. But we are totally annihilating these buildings now. All right, that one collapsed. Wait a minute, do I have tough structures on? <gasps> I have tough structures on and structure collapses off. That's why this feels like these buildings are tanking my shots so well. But with this new method, clearly I am the superior weapon here. You know, if there's ever a fuel shortage, worry not. You just gotta use bullets. I'm sure this is a super cheap and inex like inexpensive and environmentally friendly al fuel alternative that anybody could get behind. No ethical issues, no environmental issues whatsoever. Just pure, pure ammunition based. <laughs> I'm sure your neighbors will love it when you uh, start up your drone at six in the morning to head, up, to head to the office. Nothing could go wrong ever. Leave it to me to find all of the, uh, the world saving solutions to secure our future. Yeah, look at that. I mean, as you can see, the recoil powered flying vehicle concept was an overwhelming success. And um, I, didn't, I didn't really figure out a good way to make it just straight forward, but it works good enough like a helicopter just leaning into it. So we've got that going for us, which is nice. And oh, look at what we've done on that building. Really? I guess when you have structure collapses off, it really means structure collapses off, but I'm sure we can fix it really quick. I'm just gonna aim up, there we go. There we go. All right, I think we've done a pretty good number on these buildings, especially keeping in mind that tough structures were on and structure collapses was off. Well, my voice is actually starting to hurt now after yelling over the constant barrage of gunfire, but I'm gonna call the recoil powered drone an overwhelming success. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know if you have any other crazy ideas that you'd like to see in Instruments of Destruction down in the comments below. If you enjoyed this, you'll probably enjoy some more that you can find on the end screen right here. Hope this video has earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.